what's up fam so here we are in front of the city hall of fontana it's july and what we're having here is this is probably going to be a point and period where fontana has to decide the city of fontana has to decide whether they are on the side of life or whether they're on the side of death so what's happening here is there's been a moratorium the moratorium that fontana has held to prevent Planned Parenthood from opening up another abortion center here in the city of Fontana. So there is people here who are pro-life, respect for life, and they're here. They're here protesting and asking the city of Fontana to make the right decision, the right to life. So that's what we're podcasting today. Julio, my friend, is going to come here and is going to help me podcast what's going on today. So stay tuned, fam. So here we are again, fam. And at 2 o'clock, at 2 p.m., the City Council of Fontana is going to make a decision. They're going to make a decision whether or not Planned Parenthood should be allowed to open up their abortion center here in Fontana. And these people behind me are here to protest that majority of the people are going to be coming here around two o'clock a work day city of fontana used to have these meetings at 7 p.m they moved it to two o'clock i wonder why maybe it's to prevent people like these people from protesting to speak their minds i don't know i'm not the mayor i'm not the city council i don't know what decision process they make to prevent people from being able to speak but here are the people speaking so we're going to turn around and we're going to show you some of the people who are here to protest and maybe hear some of their stories. Here we are, show you some of the people here in prayer and protest, sharing you the information what people who are pro-life are trying to share. Yes. Amen. Pro-life are here. bless you. And so when we look at people who are pro-life, we're not saying that these individuals are activists or extremists. We are extreme. The extremity of what is we're trying to say is that life is sacred. And these people are willing to put themselves out in the line to protect lives of people they don't even know. See, there's a huge difference here in saying, fam, of the people on the other side who are putting these, they hired airplanes, as these airplanes are pulling these pink and white and saying, support Planned Parenthood, support abortion support the killing of innocent people see there's a difference folks of people who are saying i'm here because i don't know the people who may have that feeling of they want to abort their child and i want to protect that versus people who are out there hiring airplanes to say you know what i'm here i'm here for you so that you can choose to kill to murder that's just evil folks and that does not connect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask some of the people here to give their testimony of why they are here. So fam, as I said, I was going to share a couple of stories. Well, it's not me who's going to share. It's people who are here present who are going to share their stories of why they are here. This one is from Anna Martin. It's going to be in Spanish. So I'm going to practice my Spanish. So you're going to get to practice your Spanish. Here we have Anna Martin with her children. And this captured my eyes. It says, six years ago, I was seconds from, from, being, from being aborted, from abortion. So right here is Anna Martin. And she's gonna, I wanna ask Anna to share her story of 
what happened six years ago? So tell us your story. Los doctores dijeron que el niño venía mal porque yo estaba grande y que necesitaba hacer un aborto. Yo les dije que no y me dijeron, debes abortar porque va a estar las autoridades presentes para forzarme a tener un aborto. Y yo les dije, no me importa que estén las autoridades, no voy a abortar. Si Dios me lo mandó, es por algo. Y aquí está mi niño de seis años ahora. Sí. And look, look how handsome this young man is. You know, a decision made by mom from love. And, and you know what? I, I want to say that I know the girl behind me. She was one of my, my compliments. And this family, this witness of, of people with their children. You know, one of the things that is so important about the pro-life movement is that it's not about choice. It's about love. It's about love. And the things that you see here is about love. It's about love, folks. So here, we're just gonna collab this one. And we're gonna have another podcast person here. Um, what's his podcast name? On with J Cap. On with J Cap. And he's gonna do the interviewing and I'm gonna handle the camera. I'm gonna be Tony today, because Tony's not here. So he's gonna ask this question to the people that we encounter. Why are you here? So get ready, fam. All right, Jacob, you're on. So, why are you here? All right, so we're gonna be asking people why they're here and I think it'd be a, a good first step to talk about why I'm here, why we're here, the team. It's uh, Planned Parenthood wants to build a one of their establishments here in Fontana and we don't really want it anywhere but we got to start the fight here and not let them start it here at all because I mean what good is the choice if it ends the life on purpose of, a, of an innocent human being and we got to fight for you know the natural law we got to fight for what we believe in and how, you know with what face are we going to tell people later on when we're older we were silent when other people couldn't talk so likewise here we're going to ask uh, starting here you want to introduce yourself first hey guys I'm Vinny so I don't know if it's Going. And uh, so why why are you here? Yeah, I'm here to uh, basically for the same reason everybody else is here, to uh, combat and fight the biggest human rights uh, abuse issue uh, of our time, which is uh, the uh, really 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 is the uh, you know taking of the life of the innocent. You know, um, I mean that's I mean. And pretty, pretty much uh, their sentiment right here, you know, we have to stand as Catholic Christians, you know, for, for, for the innocent, for the unborn, as one body and I as one, fighting, fighting for the innocent, for, for, for children, those who don't have a voice. And here in Fontana means a lot of Hispanics, and I think that's something that people don't realize that. It always coincidentally falls within groups where there's a lot of minorities. I've always seen it with against African American minorities, but I've never seen it against Hispanics. It's kind of as a Hispanic myself, it's just even more powerful. I feel like, but I mean, it's no coincidence that Fontana being a largely Hispanic population among other minorities that they would want to place it here. So, I mean, it's kind of cool here seeing all the facts that people either don't know or choose not to pay attention to, but it's a reality. Don't you, don't you think it's it's odd that that, that they're, they're looking at it as they're helping minority communities by offering them this opportunity to terminate to eliminate their child. yeah so it's i don't know it, it's kind of i don't know if it's blind allegiance or people just kind of uh you know people euphemize it and then it sounds nice and they they're just saying that it's i mean we hear it in the way that it's uh, presented it's they call it health care they call abortion health care you know and it's yeah it's one of those things when you just kind of scratch a little bit on the surface and you find out that how are they helping us by eliminating more of who we could be more of uh you know growing the population it's 
I think it's just something people think about and they'll realize. That's my hope at least. You know, right here, it's like right behind you is Survivor LA. Survivors LA, it's an organization that is pro-life and, and pushing that information, um, how we can help others and pushing out the facts so that, um, that, that respect for life is present. So when it, let's go talk to them. All right, so continuing on with asking people as we're making ourselves present here against Planned Parenthood, we're asking people why they're here and why they're fighting. So who am I here with today? Um, you're here with uh, Hokabeth. I am an organizer with Survivors of the Abortion Holocaust. Okay, and, and this is uh, by y'all? By this is, Yes. You get, okay. This is ours. So can you tell us a little bit about why you're here, why, why you're present, and yeah, what's your hope with being here today? Yeah, so Planned Parenthood is trying to open up uh, here in Fontana. There's currently no Planned Parenthood here. And so they've been trying to open up a, uh, what they call a clinic, which is actually an abortion mill. Um, and we're opposing that. We're here because we care not just about preborn babies, but we also care about the women. We know that women will face addiction, depression, uh, a host of uh, physical issues. I recently have released a few phone calls from Planned Parenthood in where, where I go sidewalk canceling. And women have gone to the ER and some women have died. And this is from legal abortions. Um, I currently still have a bunch of phone calls that I'm going to be releasing where Planned Parenthood or abortion businesses will call 911 because they messed up and they perforated someone's uterus or they couldn't get the bleeding under control. So something happens and so we know that abortion is not actually safe like they claim to be. Yeah, yeah and especially I was hearing uh, one of the calls with Trent Horn, I'm sure you're familiar, and it was saying... Abortion would be safe if it didn't end the life of half of the person, uh, half of the persons involved. So it's never safe, as people always want to claim that that they want safe abortion. That's that's not a thing. You want to explain a little bit of, of what's going on here with with the signs? Uh, something that really caught my eye is uh, how they target Hispanics. I think something I always see is how they target other minorities. But as a Hispanic myself, it's kind of really interesting to see. So kind of want to. Yeah. So we created this as part of our no mosque campaign. Pain, so we're trying to outreach to Hispanic voters because um, a lot of us are pretty socially conservative. We're socially conservative, so when it comes to marriage, when it comes to abortion, these are things that are very uh, important to us, especially because the majority of us are Catholics. Um, I'm Protestant myself, but most of us are, are it's, Mexico is a very Catholic uh, country, and so um, and so is other uh, Latin American countries are very Catholic. So this was just educating the Hispanic community of what Planned Parenthood actually does. And so, like I said, uh, you know, we are known for having big families, and they hate that. They hate babies. They hate uh, the fact that we have so many kids. They think it's a burden. They think that um, we, we explain what Margaret Sanger thought. Um, she thought we were uh, human weeds. Um, so those are her words. Um, uh, we see that the people who are disproportionately targeted by abortion is not um, is black, and then the second group is Hispanics. So black Americans and then Hispanics are the next group. And so we're just right here showing what it actually does. Um, you know, 700 Hispanic babies die in the U.S. Uh, every day. Wow. Every day. So that is, uh, you know. And so we, we just wanted the Hispanic community to know that Planned Parenthood is not an ally. They are not an ally. They claim to be an ally. They'll have all these services in Spanish and even other languages, spend a lot of money uh, translating a lot of their literature and what they want. However, they just do that because they want the money. They only care about money. And so that's this is what this is, just exposing and giving people uh, just facts about what Planned Parenthood does. Yeah, no, thank you for this. This is something that I feel like a lot of people, especially as you said, Hispanics aren't really aware of this, and they just kind of go based off what's on TV. And unfortunately, what's being pushed more in on the news and stuff is, you know, that these people, Planned Parenthood, are good, and this is what what we need to see. Is there anywhere else we could find more information? I know it says Survivors.LA, La Resistencia. News. Is there a social media or somewhere we could find more? kinds of information about this yeah you could go on instagram you could uh, look up the survivors.us that's the handle you could also go to our website survivors.la um, 
and you can find information there. Uh, right now we're uh, working on a campaign to expose fetal organ harvesting. So they are aborting third trimester babies and then uh, harvesting their organs for experiments and the babies have to be healthy. That's something people don't realize. It's in order for them to harvest the organs, they have to be healthy babies so they can't have any abnormality or anything like that. Um, so that's right now the campaign we're working with is exposing fetal organ harvesting and if you want to know more about that, go to survivors.l. Okay, well thank you for talking to us and thank you for, for what you're doing, yeah. praying for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here it is. That is how Planned Parenthood is dialoguing today by using our taxpayer dollars to hire this airplane to drag this sign thousands of dollars of our taxpayer money. So fam, we're still here in the city of Fontana where a protest is still going on and the city council and the mayor are still talking about what they're going to do regarding Planned Parenthood and Planned Parenthood's desire, desire to be present here in the city of Fontana to open up an abortion mill to kill babies. We're still here, they're still protesting, and what we're doing is we're continuing to pray that the city of Fontana, our city government, makes the right decision to say no to Planned Parenthood. And as you can see behind us, there's still young people, older people, people who are saying no, praying intensely for the right to life. So, Julio here, we've been praying, and I think we have a little bit of a message that came out of this. I think we got a little word of what's going to happen. And we can't we can't confirm that it's true or not, but we have heard that in the the city council itself this is what's happening. So, Julio, what, what what's what's going what did you hear about what's going to be going on? So, what I've heard is well, one the fight still continues uh, before we we arrived here. My understanding was that today was going to be a very decisive day. Um, which, in a, in a sense, it was, it, it is, it has been. Um, it, it, we found out that the fight isn't over. Not so much a uh, swooping victory, but it is something positive when our fight continues and we're allowed to keep fighting for, I think it was one more year. One more year. And um, so it's not a definite, you know, cancelization or anything like that, but it's definitely something where we, as long as we have the will, we'll continue to fight. And um, I know people, Right now, it might seem to those who are in favor of Planned Parenthood, uh, the way that we think as as uh, people who are pro-life, we seem as a very small minority. But you know, right here, there's a, a small selection of of what um, how many of us there are. I, I know that in other occasions, there's been many more. So there's a lot of us here, and there wasn't a single one who was in favor of Planned Parenthood. The only thing that was here was uh, an airplane with. Uh, a giant banner with a really ironic statement but there wasn't anything other than that of people making themselves manifest and present and you know basically fighting for what they think is right i think deep down there's there's that knowing that it's a grave evil and we're here to keep fighting we can't do it we can't swoop and you know finish all of them out in the world but we could start by fighting here in fontana in our, in our local home and then one by one you know start showing people and defending life that life should be defended no matter its location no matter its size at all times but we care both about the unborn both about the mothers and we just got to keep fighting and, and let other people know that that's right so to recap that um what we are hearing is that in the city council the decision has been made you know for six months, there's been a mandate that you can't build in that corner where Planned Parenthood desires to, to open up that clinic. So the city council, from what we hear, has extended that mandate for another year. So prayers answered. It's not a complete says no, but it is one year that prevents Planned Parenthood from opening in the city of Fontana. And it is our hope that because of that one year long mandate, Planned Parenthood will decide, hey, this is not a fight where we want to fight and we're going to move on. Um, the fight is still on to prevent the killing of innocent lives. And so that's what we're going to continue to do. But here in the city of Fontana, 
people came out, people spoke up, and people prayed for a miracle. And those miracles are coming and showing up. Thanks be to God. So on that note, fam, this is me, Arnell, from This Connected Podcast and Julio from JCAP Podcast. And pray for us. We'll be praying for you. And as always, be blessed and be third. Like and subscribe.